select sports, and I will be your master of ceremonies tonight. I would like to start off the ceremony with a shocking statistic for all of you. 98% of you attended graduation tonight, and 96% of you were on time. <laughs> Congratulations to all of you for making it this far. It really is quite the achievement. You've survived a crazy finals week, the grading system changing, and even Chromebooks. I am so glad I got to work with so many of you over the years and truly wish the best for all of you in your future endeavors. Now we will listen to the Star Spangled Banner played by the Fond Lac High School Band. ceremony. It is my deepest honor and pleasure to welcome you here tonight. On behalf of your class officers and advisors, I would like to congratulate you on your outstanding academic performance, extracurricular involvement, and dedicated community service these last four years. Today my goal is not to bore you with quotes or tell you that this is the first day of the rest of your lives. Instead, my ambition is to tell you that there is a whole wide, wide world outside of this high school just waiting. But before I begin, I need to thank my parents, our teachers, and our principals, Google Docs, SparkNotes, and of course the Chromebooks for making me successful these past years. Without them, my grades would have surely plummeted and I would not have loved it here at Fondy High. <laughs> Nonetheless, I want to take you back to that first real day of school. I can remember myself, a self-conscious, worrisome, introverted freshman that was gullible enough to think that the, my gym class really did involve swimming at the pool on the third floor. <laughs> There's definitely no pool and no third floor. We outlasted Plasto Track and Mr. Wiltsy's impromptu attendance percentages on the morning announcements. In all seriousness though, we have taken these four years and done a lot of things that will be memorable forever. Instead of saying that this is the first day of the rest of your lives, I actually believe that it's the last day of the first act of your life. Tomorrow, my friends, starts act two. The most overwhelming thing for us right now is that there is a world of opportunities out there just waiting for us to find. No matter where we go, what we do, and how we choose to do it, we have the world at our fingertips and we can truly do anything we want to do at this point. A teacher once told my class to not wait for life to come to us, but to instead go and get life. What she meant was that we need to take the initiative, the first step, and take as many risks as possible. After all, unless you take that first step, you may never know what that second step feels like. There's not one person sitting in this room that doesn't have the power or the passion to go out into this world starting tonight and make a difference in it. Anybody can change the world, but those who want to will. What sets you apart from the others is the fact that you can and should do all of the ordinary things extraordinarily well. Go out into this big wide world and capture the hearts and minds of the people that you touch. Everybody here is talented at hundreds of concentrations, and I have confidence, faith, and pride and the fact that our class, this class of 2014, will go out and do things that have never been done before. It's intermission, my friends, and the second act is about to begin. Welcome to your commencement ceremony, class of 2014. Congratulations, and thank you for the opportunity to serve you as one of your class officers. Thank you. Thank you, Danny. Um, next up, up, I would like to welcome to the podium Dr. James Siebert, our superintendent, for some opening remarks.
Thank you very much, Alexa. Members of the Board of Education, Principal Wiltsius, administrative team members, Fond du Lac High School, as well as Fond du Lac School District, faculty and staff, Mr. Jolka and distinguished guests, proud family members and friends, and graduates of the class of 2014. I'm especially honored to be able to stand before you this evening and address you at your graduation ceremony. The role of the superintendent of schools is certainly diverse, but I can't think of a more rewarding activity than celebrating here today your academic excellence, your individual intellectual growth, and your initial steps toward making a lifelong difference in that of others. First of all, congratulations to each and every one of you. Earning a high school diploma is something to be extremely proud of, and as my mother told me, it is something no one can ever take away from you. Through your years of K-12 education, you have worked hard, learned a tremendous amount, and experienced growth in physical, social, and emotional This event symbolizes the culmination of your K-12 growth experience and does so in a very meaningful way. As your superintendent, I am proud to see so many successful, smiling faces representing our fine school district. In my remarks today, I would like to focus on three distinct, yet equally important areas. These are areas I personally reflect on, and I hope they will inspire you to think about your life and future as well. They are sequenced, goal-setting thought patterns that include reflecting on where you have been, visualizing where you are currently, and dreaming about where you want to be. Let's begin with thinking about where you have been. For many of you, you've grown up locally as I have. Some of you moved into the district at various times, while others have chosen Fond du Lac as opposed to a different schooling option. Regardless of how you ended up sitting here today, the important message is that you've done it together. Whether it was a group project, a concert or performance, an athletic event, or coordinating the homecoming festivities, You've relied on your classmates, parents, and teachers to help you along the way. It's important to never lose sight of that, as we are stronger when we have the support of others. Additionally, as you go out into the world, don't forget about your roots, where you came from. You're soon to be a proud alumnus of Fond du Lac High School, and that is very cool. Come back and see your teachers, share stories of your success, and inspire those who will come after you. Remember the pride that you are feeling today and share that proudly when you return home. I hope you'll be a continued catalyst for Fondi Pride. Thinking about where you have been leads directly into assessing one's current reality or where you are now. You have each experienced and conquered a different set of challenges and opportunities. Your success in maneuvering through those challenges and opportunities has allowed you to be seated here today. And while you will soon walk forward and be handed your high school diploma, perhaps more important is the journey that has brought you here today. Author Greg Anderson said, focus on the journey, not the destination. Joy is found not in finishing an activity, but in doing it. Author Ursula Le Guin stated, it is good to have an end to journey toward, but it is the journey that matters in the end. You are truly at the starting line of one very long race. You can choose the vehicle, the speed, and the intensity with which you drive that race. I'm excited for you, and can tell from watching the many proud staff and family members in the audience that they are as well. Lastly, let's dream a bit about where you want to be. Eleanor Roosevelt said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. The future for each of you is unlimited. Whether you choose college, tech school, the military, or the world of work, the continuously evolving society in which we live today will provide a substantial amount of opportunities for each of you. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, nothing great was ever achieved without enthusiasm. I hope you will allow your youthful enthusiasm to get the best of you and dream very big. Vince Lombardi said, the difference between a successful person and others is not a lack of strength, not a lack of knowledge, but rather a lack of wealth. This was evidenced brilliantly by the late Jim Valvano, a college basketball coach at North Carolina State, who died from cancer in the early 1990s. He faced his cancer head on and fought a greatest battle right up to the end, even creating a foundation that funds cancer research. He said, cancer can take away all of my physical abilities. 
It cannot touch my mind. It cannot touch my heart. It cannot touch my soul. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. It is with that sense of desire, passion, and intrinsic motivation that we can all take an important lesson. A lesson that tells us we must continually stimulate and motivate ourselves to push a little harder, to work a little harder for the big dreams that we establish for ourselves. Make the best of the situations that you choose and insist on success for yourself and those around you. In conclusion, congratulations once again to each of you, the Fond du Lac High School class of 2014. And in the words of Henry David Thoreau, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. Thank you. Podium for some additional remarks. I would like to share with you the following on behalf of the Fond du Lac School District Board of Education. Congratulations to our 2014 graduates and welcome parents, relatives, teachers, staff, friends, and community members. This is an exciting day, a joyful day, as you the graduates through your diligent and steadfast work have achieved that first significant goal in your education. I would like to give special thanks to your parents and guardians who set the stage at home for you to be here with us today. We know that families have a great influence on the success of your individual lives. Graduation, commencement, the beginning, brings with it another chapter in your lives to pursue your individual goals. Sons and daughters must and can seek their own level and obtain their own economic and career goals. That is why at this time of your life, this graduation is so exciting. You have the ability to determine your individual future to do whatever you desire to do. That is also why it is so exciting to work with young people, to watch you develop and grow. Whether you decide to pursue your goals in the workforce, the military, university, or college education. We know that education is lifelong learning. As you develop your career goals, the Board of Education is confident that you will succeed in your endeavors because you have been provided with wonderful teachers, staff, and administrators throughout your education with us in the Fond du Lac School District. I would like to share with you one final thought. Norman Vincent Peale once said, quote, formulate and stamp indelibly on your mind a mental picture of yourself as succeeding. Hold this picture tenaciously. Never permit it to fade. Your mind will seek to develop the picture. Do not build up obstacles in your imagination. Congratulations, graduates, and best wishes in your future endeavors. Thank you. Welcome my good friend and fellow class officer, Mr. Thomas Chitwood, to the podium. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And once again, congratulations to the class of 2014. Four years ago, when I first walked through the doors of this building, the last thing I thought I'd ever do is give a graduation speech. It's funny how things have changed since our first day here. Some things for the better, others for the worse. However, I'm not here tonight to look back on the things we've already done. Instead, I'm here tonight to help prepare us for what's beyond those doors.
door stands as a symbol, a gateway. And the moment we pass through those doors, we will embark on an adventure. An adventure that will test us, tempt us, and push us to our very limits. An adventure that will encompass the rest of our lives. Some of you may remember from history class a story of Lewis and Clark. Although they did not leave through the doors of Fondi High, Lewis and Clark began a similar journey of a lifetime. They traveled a total of 7,000 miles, mostly by foot and by canoe, exploring much of the American West. Unlike their predecessors, Lewis and Clark did not explore for glory. Instead, they were motivated by a dream. A dream to find the shortest passage to the Pacific Ocean. It's a lovely American story, isn't it? But unfortunately, if we were tested right now, most of us would only have a proficient understanding. <laughs> to tell you the truth, we are not all that different from Lewis and Clark. We may not be traveling across high mountains and vast plains, but nonetheless, we will embark on the journey of life. A journey that could lead us to our ultimate goal. For Lewis and Clark, their goal was reaching the Pacific Ocean, but for each individual in this room, our goal is something different. So I pose to you this question. What is your dream? What is your Pacific Ocean? Some of you might already have an answer. Others of you might not. But that's all right. Just take some time and think about it. And remember, never take the easy way out and simply follow the path of others. As Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Be like Lewis and Clark and blaze your own trail. Let the compass of your heart guide you through the wilderness of life. Now I'm going to be frank with you. This whole journey of life thing isn't going to be all peaches and cream. A real dream is difficult to follow and sometimes real world struggles hinder the compass of the heart. This may sound cold. But in reality, we will have failures along the way, and we will want to give up. Many people don't know this, but Lewis and Clark almost gave up on their dream, too. After reaching a place known as Fort Clatsop, a terrible winter set in, leaving the men starving with nothing but shoe leather to eat. Tensions began to rise among the local Indian tribes, and the expedition team became mutinous. At this point in the journey, Lewis and Clark considered turning back. Little did they know that they were only a few miles away from their ultimate goal, the Pacific Ocean. You know, it's nice to think that no matter how bad our life gets, we'll probably never have to eat shoe leather or worry about our neighbors killing us in the middle of the night. But these different struggles will affect us all the same. And trust me, when these struggles come, you will want to turn back. But don't ever turn back, because I want you to remember Lewis and Clark, and know that your Pacific Ocean could only be a few miles away. Well, class of 2014, here we are on our last day, about to embark on the adventure of a lifetime. I'm excited to go. I really am. But I know I cannot do this alone. That's why we need each other. Together, we are Lewis and Clark. And together, we can do anything. I just want you to remember that even when you walk through those doors, it does not matter who you are, where you go, or what you do. You will always have a place here in the class of 2014. Have faith. Be strong. Have courage. And remember Lewis and Clark. The adventure ahead is just as wild as it seems. Until we meet again, my friends, good luck. And God bless the class of 2014. Thanks, Thomas. <clears throat> Next, I would like to welcome our fearless leader of Fond du Lac High School to the podium, Mr. John Wiltius, principal of Fond du Lac High School. Good evening. Um, I always have the opportunity to follow, follow some of the most articulate speakers we have at Fondi High. But I do get to present 
and recognize some of our most outstanding, committed academic individuals at Conlac High School. I would first like to recognize from our senior class of 2014, our National Honor Society representatives from our class, if you could please stand and be applauded. National Honor Society members. Those students who participated in the peer tutor program this year, in which you assisted other students, if you could please stand. I'd like to reference everyone to the back of the program. And at the bottom of the program, Fond du Lac High School is proud to present a Laude system, in which we recognize students' academic prowess. Somebody, somebody who has been in, in your shoes and is now up here with this I, I, incredible award that uh, that is being presented to me tonight. The first is that you you have no idea the breadth and depth, graduates, the breadth and depth of the education that you've received in the Fond du Lac district, not only at the high school but also. You have no idea of that breadth and depth. And, I, and the reason that comes to me is that I, uh, as you know by, by the introduction of my comments, uh, I did not start out in being, being a lawyer. I decided, well, first, first I was a newspaper reporter for the Final Act Reporter. Uh, and after that, uh, and really at the same time, I was a teacher and coach at Final Act High School. And it was only after a couple of years there that I decided, and this is 41 years ago now, 41 years ago, that I decided to uh, go to law school. So what, what my point is, is that I was very comfortable as a newspaper reporter. I was very comfortable as a teacher, as a coach. I loved those jobs. I absolutely loved those jobs. And then I just had this sense that I wanted to see what uh, uh, going to law school would be like. Uh, and I did so. But I want to, what my point is, is that the breadth and depth of the education you've received is going to allow you choices as you go forward, very important choices as to, as to uh, your direction and, and the, the path that you take. Don't, don't, don't close doors. Don't close doors early. Uh, let the doors stay open. Make choices and don't lock in. You'll never know just exactly where your calling necessarily is. And, and what you're going to build on is you're going to build on the teachers and staff and administrators of this wonderful building, just like I did, to create the path that you're going to take. The second thing I want to convey to you is I looked up the word since the, the, the award is called the Ad Distinguished Alumni Award. I, look up, I looked up the word distinguished. I think we all have a mental concept of what that is. Um, certainly we think of it from the military perspective. Sometimes somebody who serves... Uh, and, and, and performs distinguished service. Uh, the word in the, in the dictionary is simply defined very simply. It's celebratory uh, uh, or uh, eminence. Okay, so, uh, so it, it means celebratory or eminence. And, and notice that it, that word, uh, distinguished, can go in front of any other word that you choose. Whether it's, whether it, whatever path you take, it, it, sure, it, right now it's distinguished alumni, and that's what that's what I happen to be being awarded tonight, which I'm so proud of. But whatever path you take, what I'd really urge you to do is be distinguished. Create a role of eminence for yourself. Be celebrate in what you're doing. Be proud of what you're doing. Uh, there's not no reason that you can't do that. No matter what what noun follows that adjective distinguished, make it your noun. Make it what you want to be and become distinguished in that, in that path. So keep doors open, strive for uh, eminence in all that you do, and uh, as Mr. Sadoff said, once a cardinal, always a cardinal, and I can do nothing more than just congratulate the class. Thank you very much.
I'd ask all of the graduates to please stand. On behalf of the Fond du School District, we do recognize you of the graduating class of 2014 from Fond du High School. Yeah. 